I am making this statement as an act of willful defiance of military authority, because I believe that the war is being deliberately prolonged by those who have the power to end it. I am a soldier, convinced that I am acting on behalf of soldiers. I believe that the war upon which I entered as a war of defence and liberation has now become a war of aggression and conquest. I believe that the purposes for which I and my fellow soldiers entered upon this war should have been so clearly stated as to have made it impossible to change them, and that had this been done, the objects which actuated us would now be attainable by negotiation. I have seen and endured the sufferings of the troops, and I can no longer be a party to prolonging these sufferings for ends which I believe to be evil and unjust. I am not protesting against the conduct of the war, but against the political errors and insincerities for which the fighting men are being sacrificed. On behalf of those who are suffering now, I make this protest against the deception which is being practiced upon them. Also, I believe it may help to destroy the callous complacency with which the majority of those at home regard the continuance of agonies which they do not share and which they have not enough imagination to realize. Lieutenant Siegfried Sassoon, 3rd Battalion, Royal Welsh Fusiliers, July 1917. General, I know where he is. I know where he is. I know where he is. If you want to find the general, I know where he is. He's sitting in the Bolivar chair. I saw him. I saw him. Sitting in the Bolivar chair. Sitting in the Bolivar chair. You want to find the Colonel? I know where he is. I know where he is. I know where he is. You want to find the Colonel? I know where he is. He's pinning another nail on his chest. I saw him. I saw him. Pinning another nail on his chest. Pinning another nail on his chest. Hanging on the old barbed wire I saw him, I 